today on Blind Date. I like casual sex. No, no. We've got a live one here. What do you do for fun? Is drinking. <laughs> well, that's a given. <laughs> and for her, three's never a crowd. I've done it, yeah. Yeah? Foursome, threesome. Really? Plus. Yeah, it's nice. Yo, this is like a cover for a magazine right here. Can he stay in the picture with this party girl? You're wild and crazy. That's right. It all begins now. I love casual sex. On Blind Date. Hey, welcome to Blind Date, everybody. I'm Roger Lodge, and for the next 30 minutes, you get to watch two couples caught in the act of dating, among other things. Let's get to it. And today, we'll kick things off with Connie and her date, Justin. Now, Connie's a professional ballroom dancer who says she's looking for a strong, rugged, metrosexual. Perfect! Justin's an attorney who says when it comes to women, he wants arm candy. Again, with this arm candy. You want someone, when you walk in, and everyone turns their heads. I think men like mostly my blonde hair and my ass. If I'm gonna have sex with a girl, like, she's gotta be attractive. Like, I'm not gonna just have sex for the sake of having sex. I'm mean when I don't get my way. <laughs> when I don't get my way, but that usually doesn't happen. Women should be treated like princesses and queens. I do not have any problem going up to a guy that I'm attracted to or wanna, you know, get to know better or even sleep with and telling him right off the bat that I wanna sleep with you. Uh, Justin. Justin, it's a pleasure to meet you. Hi, I'm Connie. Nice Connie, to meet you. Nice to meet you. Good. So, are you ready to go? Yeah, let's do it. All right, I'm let's all get this party started. Definitely. What do you do, uh, you know, for an occupation or to? I do a couple of things. I'm a professional Latin ballroom dancer. Really? So I compete and wow. I teach people how to dance, you know, like cha-cha, salsa. Besides that, um, I teach a striptease aerobics class. Wow. So what's the uh, craziest and the wildest thing that you've done? Craziest, wildest thing I've done? I can't believe you hit me with the sexual questions. Why not? Why, should I have to wait for dinner and drinks? Of course. To ask you that? Of course. Stand, so you'll stand, talk more stand openly? Stand procedure, standard protocol. No, I'm not standard. I'm definitely. You're wild and crazy. I'm not standard. I don't do anything by the books. You're wild and crazy. That's right. I haven't had, uh, you know, that many, you know, girlfriends in my lifetime. So it's kind of like, you know, I'm, uh, I'm still a work in progress. I'm kind of like a late bloomer, you know? <laughs> Justin, nice to Hi, meet you. I'm Alexei. I'm a photographer here. This is my photo studio. So uh, I'm going to take some shots of you. OK. okay. And uh, <laughs> I would like you to change into your outfits back here. OK. All right, have fun with it. Yeah, good. <laughs> that's good. OK, oh, that's beautiful. Camera, look at the camera. Good, yeah, throw your head back. Throw your head yeah, back. Nice, freeze, both of you. Feel it. Yeah, that's good, just like that. Yeah. That's nice. That's gorgeous. Yo, this is like a cover for a magazine right here. So what do you look for in a woman? The, the total package is something that, you know, I'd like to strive for. And it's, you know, it's obviously quite rare, but it would be nice to have more of a well-rounded person, you know? I love um, 
arms. That's like my favorite part of the body. So really, yeah, I love arms. They don't have to be like muscle head arms, but as right. long as they're like tone and sexy. Well, I'll have to. Um, I'll have to hit the gym um, after dinner. <laughs> no, I don't think we're hitting the gym after dinner. All right. I have, to, I have to leave for a second. I'll be back in a minute. You'll be back? Yeah. Okay. You did not get those from me. I got these flowers for you. Those are sweet. Because. You're a sweet girl. I'm very sweet. You like to, you, you take care of people. Take care of people, give to people. Most fortunate than you're me. Very, you're very considerate. Very. New Jersey. You're going back home. Why? Yeah, I gotta wake up early tomorrow. I gotta go to work. You have to go to work. You can't call out of work. I already called out of work today. <laughs> Two days in a row would look kind of fishy. You're really sick. I am. I am you sick. A, you got a rare disease. But I, I've been, a, I've been <laughs> fucking with Connie, Connieitis. <laughs> well, you know, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had a great time with you this evening. Yeah, I had a great time too, thank you. I'll be in touch, okay? Thanks. I'll Have a good night. You too, definitely. Bye. Good night. What, he can't make up a story for missing work? What kind of attorney is he? And we'll get plenty of post-day testimony when we come back. Stick around. Up next. Are you in the group sex? Are you, is there an invitation or something? A couple that's into spreading the love. Group sex. Group sex? Casual and group sex? Casual and group sex. <laughs> okay. That's next. Today. You're really sick. I am. I am sick. A, you got a rare disease. Yeah, he sure does. It's called blowing a sure thing itis. Very common among young white males like Justin. Justin is definitely not my type because he's not wild enough and not crazy enough. I'm not as experienced in bed as uh, Connie seems to be. I don't think Justin ever had a date with someone like me. I kissed Connie because I definitely felt there was there was some kind of you know, intimate connection there. I just need a bad boy. I don't need a good boy. I would like to see Connie again because she epitomizes just pure, unadulterated sexual energy. I don't want to see Justin again. He just doesn't do it for me. 
Really? Well, I guess making out with him at dinner and in the back of the cab, not to mention in the hot tub, was all just for fun. What a tease. All right, now let's move on and meet our next potential lovebirds, Becky and Eric. Now, Becky calls herself a sassy party girl and a real pleaser. Her date, Eric, says that he's the rebellious type looking for an adventurous girl. I want a girl that's willing to go out and have a good time, fly by the seat of their pants with me. I think sarcasm is probably a turn on for me. <laughs> I ride freestyle motocross. I've been doing that now for about 12 years. I love dirt bikes and motor like motorcycles. The truth of the matter is I haven't found a girl that lets me ride dirt bikes. The bad boys I like because they're sarcastic. So if they're pushy, then I'm pushy, then it goes back and forth and that's what makes it fun. I do a little bit more nutty stuff than more people would actually even think about doing in their lives. So if love falls on my plate, then I'll welcome it with open arms, but I'm not gonna go out and look for it. Well, don't worry, Becky. We run a very low pressure dating service here. You just get out there and make a few memories. San Diego, where are you from? San Jose. San Jose? San Jose, yeah. So what do you do for fun? Just... Ride dirt bikes and ride horses. Awesome! <laughs> Love dirt bikes. Love dirt Same bikes. Here. What do you do for fun as far as... Drinking. <laughs> well, that's a given. For fun? <laughs> My, my thing is, I love dirt bikes, but nobody's ever taught me how to ride a dirt bike, and I've always been trying to find the person to teach me how to ride dirt bikes. Well, we can go riding anytime you want to go riding. Well, I think we should. What do you usually look for in girls? Uh, what do I look for in girls? Yeah. I look for somebody to have a good time with, more than anything. Just to be able to talk and hang out, you know, and just be up for the moment. I like to go out and party. I definitely don't like to stay home no matter what. I'm not a homebody at all. I gotta keep going. I mean, it's doing something. Dinner, well, just camp. anything, going somewhere, you know? Don't waste your weekends and sit at home. Life's too short. There's all this to see and all this stuff to do. Yeah. Hi. Hi, guys. How's it going? Hi, good. Welcome to Automotive Legends in Malibu. Well, thank you. Thank you. It's an awesome car you have there. Yeah, I just thought I'd drive up on our little 550 <laughs> Spider. This is a replica of the James Dean Spider. It's one of those really kind of fun cars that you can have a good time in. This is a super car. It's a super mini car. Uh -huh. This car's got 245 horsepower. Yeah. Okay, well, you guys have fun. Okay, right, thank you. Thanks. Be careful. Guys have fun? Oh, I had a blast. So, so much good. Fun. So good. Can we so just pimp. take this the rest of the night? Yeah, <laughs> well, that's fun, huh? Yeah. Now I'm ready to like speed. <laughs> Go. Gun it. <laughs> Sex or um, just like you know what? You have to be in a relationship. It doesn't really matter too much to me. Have you had a one night stand? Yeah, a couple times. Do you remember their last name? I don't remember the first name. <laughs> <laughs> so <sweet. laughs> um, 
I love casual sex. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. Would you like to like announce it to the world? Would you like to stand on the table? I like casual sex. No, no, no love. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I love casual sex. Are you casual into group sex? Are you? Is there an invitation or something? Well, no. I was just wondering. <laughs> I've done it. Yeah. Yeah. Foursome, threesome. Really? What's the ratio between guys and girls? I'm gonna get two guys and then two guys and me and a friend of mine. Sweet. So, yeah. What do we cheerings do? Cheerings do. Cheering. <laughs> group sex. <laughs> group sex. Casual and group sex. <laughs> Casual and group sex. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, you gotta go like... <laughs> ah, isn't it sweet when two people have so much in common? And we'll try to pry these two apart and get some post-date comments when we come back. Coming up, Dave, be brave. Oh, watch it. Don't get that stinger gland on you. You don't want to get stoned there. Oh. Dating can be hazardous to your health. Watch out with it. Be careful. Watch out of the eye. No, be careful. It crawls off the cutting room floor. Next. Sex? I've done it, yeah. Yeah? Foursome, threesome. <laughs> group sex. Group sex? <laughs> Casual and group sex? Casual and group sex. Okay. Oh, this is such a family show. And I think we can go ahead and put this one in the old win column. I think Becky's just like me, down to earth and very outgoing. We're at the car place. Eric turned me on more than the men he did, so I wanted to take him for a ride. What turned me on about Becky is that she's a lot of fun to hang out with and she's very beautiful. At dinner, Eric's talk about sex turned me on, but I knew that it would heat up things more later. When we were at dinner, talking about sex, I only knew the night was going to get better. Eric is a wonderful kisser. I enjoyed kissing him. I'm dying to take Becky dirt bike riding because there's so much I want to teach her. I'm looking forward to dirt bike riding with Eric. I think he can teach me a lot. Oh, I would definitely go out with Becky again. I would love to go on a romantic date with Eric again. Well, all they have to do now is call a couple of pals and they're on their way. All right, coming up, some dates just make your skin crawl. It's off our cutting room floor next. You are the guy. Get off my stage. <laughs> Welcome back. Now, we just saw Becky hook up big time with Eric. And while Becky seemed to be pretty fearless on this date, we did find one thing that she was afraid of. Check this out. Oh, there he is. Oh, 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 why couldn't I get the oh, 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 give me a little pinch of it right there. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Now we're going to open your hand up and be brave. Oh, this is also a wrecking, just like tarantula, eight-legged. Oh, eight-legged wrecking. Oh, my we're God. Gonna put, oh, watch it. Don't get that stinger gland on you. You don't want to get stoned there. Oh, there we go. Oh now, my God. Walk it right over to Becky. Okay, just hurry Be careful, it. Just Becky. Hurry up and do it. Just be careful. Oh, watch out. Watch out for that. Watch out for the stinger. Watch out for the. Be careful. Oh, watch out for the eye. No, no. Be careful. Oh, Becky. Don't mind. Let me get it. I'm a professional. This is what I do. This is what I do this. I'm a professional animal regulator. Let me. Becky, don't, don't move. Don't Let me get it out of you. This is what I do. Hey, now listen. I do this professionally. Okay, I work in film, TV, commercial. Let me get. Hold on, Becky. Don't move, Becky. I put these on Meg Ryan before Becky. Be cool. Hold on, Becky. Don't move. I got one. Oh, this ain't easy, Becky. It's going oh up to your God. eyes. Oh, there. It's got you. It's got you in a death grip. <laughs> Becky! Right, Becky, you're drooling there, baby. Let me get it off there. Hold on. Hold on, Becky. Don't pull. Get it off. Okay, Everything's going to be fine. 
Hey, I don't care if you put some on Nolan Ryan. A scorpion's still a scorpion. All right, that'll do it for today's show. I'm Roger Lodge. I'll see you tomorrow.